Girls, ladies, gentlemen, this is extra, but we've got some paracetamol for a headache. So I've got these from Shift, not Ethanol. Astro bot game. Some people play, some people want. And if you like your monster trucks, you like this. What was I going to talk about today in the video? Well, you know the police seem to arrest a lot of people with e-bikes and e-scooters and petrol bikes. And uh, yeah, they want to arrest people on them because they're not legal. Uh, do you reckon eventually they bring out a provisional license for an e-scooter and an e-bike? Or an electric scooter or petrol push bike. I mean, they probably won't. But you can actually go on a, a real motorbike, what's petrol, and use a provisional license. It's the same with a car as well. I think you need a provisional license of a car, but somebody else has to sit beside you with a full license. Now, will they bring this into effect? They probably will, guys and girls, those boys and girls. If you have to have a license for an e-scooter and an and a electric bike, um, people remember the old scooters back in the day where you could just push them with your feet. Things have changed since then. I mean, a go-kart, for example, can they um, start charging people for them? And quad bikes, can you get an electric quad bike and they start giving you lectures for it, not taking them on the road, only just do it in a uh, village, well, a countryside or grass farm like a tractor. I mean, tractors have uh, no licenses on in the field, but... Uh, some sometimes people don't have the places to take these things to enjoy themselves on, and people all people are doing is having fun and enjoying themselves. Um, and it's like with sports cars out there that make a lot of noise and upset people, especially myself. Very annoying, very irritating. If they had places to go to make that noise, they would do. But sometimes they ain't got the choice. Sometimes you've got to think to yourself, they're making that noise to make them feel better. It's the same with a motorbike as well. They enjoy the noise, but not everyone likes a lot of noise at certain times. Perhaps they can go to events with cut monster trucks, cars and motorbikes and quad bikes to uh, make them feel better. Some people like football, but there's people living in their football stadiums as well. It makes loads of noise. I mean, there's always something that keeps people busy like trampolining or, I don't know, uh, going uh, shooting, clay pigeon shooting. Like with uh, pigeons, not actually pigeons like throwing discs in the air and stuff. Um, farmers have guns as well. Um, I don't know how to put this video, guys and girls, those boys and girls, it is what it is, but I thought I'd mention there. What do you think? Do people need the licenses for these things, or is it just silly? I mean, do the police have e-bikes and scooters they go on? Because they've got a license, obviously. Do they get into trouble? Probably not. I mean, other countries, can you go on e-bikes and scooters without getting arrested? Why is it this country they're illegal? You know? There's got to be something why they're illegal to ride on. People spend all that money, why do they sell it on the internet and YouTube and people buy it? Why is it illegal? They try and make everything illegal. They try and spoil your fun and entertainment and they're making people safe or on the roads or they're just being annoying. Um, there's a lot of things going through my head today. As you can probably hear in the background, I've got my tumble dryer on, washing my clothes. I'm still writing things in my 2024 book, even though I'll be in 2025 soon. Write anything in here. So you hold memories in the bucket. Well, it could be in some kind of way. But uh, I am finding things quite hard in general. And I'll tell you why. Some people may not care be interested in my videos. If you are. You try and do things for your friends and your family. And they just seem to be ungrateful all the time. Imagine having a family member of you. Uh, as, as you can see, my place is a bit untidy. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not mad about it. But you can tidy up the best way you can. Some people have been in... Un I bet you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, have been in untidy houses than mine. People are a lot worse. Imagine your friends and family saying to you, if you don't tidy your house properly, we will bring in the cleaners and we'll charge you £400 each time. Imagine that. That would annoy you, wouldn't it? And uh, how are you supposed to eat and survive? And they say you get plenty of money. Not everybody does, though. That's the thing. We're all struggling in our own way. And for them to say, like, uh, you hear that beeping, it's got one more minute of the tumble dryer. You know? Sometimes family members and family try to break you and they don't care what you think. But you've got to be the bigger person who rises above it. It's these trolls on YouTube as well. They try and break you and snap you, uh, pull one over you. I mean, by that, pull one over in your ears. 
trying to confuse you and cyberbullying you and stuff but you just got to try and look ahead at it it's not easy and then when you talk to your friends and your family about this situation they don't seem to care or understand and don't know why it's happening to you not them and uh, they think they're better than everybody else there's always that thing that comes around and karma happens so they can think, keep thinking what they want to think. I, I, I've already this video because sometimes I get annoyed and angry like anyone else. You know, the world is a very difficult place. But some people say on the other side, there's somewhere else to be. And to be safe and to be happy. Like in outer space somewhere. When you die, you'll be able to see all these different places in front of you. And different worlds. Perhaps all these other worlds are here in, in our universe, but we can't see them because we're on Earth. When we die, it opens another door, another portal, to a different place and a location. Once you go through that door and that portal location, is it like Earth? Probably not. It's probably different. Or it could be like a mirror image. Like looking in the mirror, looking at yourself. It could be that. But uh, some people say ghosts and demons and things can go through your mirror and go to another mirror. It's, another, it's a mirror dimension world. If you've ever seen a film called Beetlejuice... I'll give you kind of a rough, rough idea. I've seen what number one and, and number two I've not seen yet. The lady out of Wednesday's on there. So, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I keep saying I don't know, which I don't. Uh, things are not as easy as they're supposed to be easy. You know, they, 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 I'm going to say this one thing on here. They moan at you and get angry at your family to do things, to upset you, get in your way all the time. But when you're dead and you're not there, they moan at you and say out loud, oh, I wish I could have done more for that person. Sometimes your family leads you to that way to do silly things to yourself or do harm to yourself. I'm, I'm not saying none of us are perfect, but why can't your family be there and love you and respect you and guide you in life? Because you're not going to be here forever the same way as they're not going to be here forever. But why, why do they put, make you feel so guilty in yourself? Is what I'm trying to say, guys, girls, ladies, and boys, girls. Do you agree? Am I just talking riddles or gobbledygook? Is what I'm saying. But uh, they say things. But you know, you should be there for your family, love them, be there for them. But they don't. That's the thing. They only cry and moan over you when you're in the coffin and when you're buried and when you're dead. Oh, I wish I could have done more. I wish I could have done this. But you had the plenty of opportunities to have done more. But you chose not to. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, you you bullied people, you cyberbully people, you irritated people. You told them to do the house all the time, which is nothing wrong with doing that, but over and over again, upsetting them, taking money off them. And you wonder why people get depressed and angry and upset. What do you do? Some people are just greedy. And you'll learn that in your life, guys and girls, those young boys and girls from your family that do this to you. Perhaps just somebody that's going for the same experience as me, as me and you don't like it. Well, it's not nice at all. It really isn't nice, but they don't seem to care about your feelings and your interests. But it's okay for them to upset you, but you can't do it to them. They have nice things, yeah? And they want your money, your money, and your money, so you can't buy anything or afford anything. If you're working, you can get what you want. If you're on benefits, they want to take it all from you. You, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to deserve to be buying anything. You know what I mean? Only your food and your clothes and stuff, which most people do buy. I mean, it doesn't get you a long way, but it helps. You have to get by in the world. It's difficult. But there's going to be people there that just don't want to help anyone else except themselves. There's plenty of people that walk past it, gnawed, pushed under the carpet. Doesn't make it right though, does it? But not everybody sees it the same way. You try and talk to your friends and family about stuff. Not even deep stuff, just general stuff. And they don't know what you're on about. Or you don't know what you're saying, what you're talking about. I don't understand what you mean. They're playing the victim. They're playing the game that you, they don't know what you're saying. But in theory, you know exactly what they're saying and what they're talking about. They're just not answering your questions. Or they don't want to answer it. Because they feel offended or they just don't want to know. So I'm doing these videos as well, so I remember. Will I make myself clever doing these videos? I don't know. I do it a certain way. We're all different in the world. We make our videos differently. 
sometimes it takes a couple of days to think of a video or make a video or talk about a video um, it is what it is uh, I, I, I don't know how to put it into words but like I say a lot of people are going to have a lot of grief and some people probably don't care about their friends and family and they move away from them imagine trying to get close to your friends and family and they just want to move away move away go to different areas and just move away you've done nothing wrong all you want is a happy life and friends but would you clash your family as your friends or those people that you've grown up with people that love you as your family but different to your friends people that uh, guide you and help you in your life but they do that to their friends of course they wouldn't why did they do it to you well it's like being the black sheep of the family why wouldn't they they don't know how to deal with their own emotions, so they take it out on you and upset you and abuse you. Because they can't understand their own feelings. Nobody will help them, so they just upset you. They come to your house and offload the problems to you, of their family to you, because uh, they do. So, they get a, a thrill out and a kick out of upsetting people. It's the same thing with family. Family can be a funny thing. You can pick your friends, but not your family. And it may keep happening to a lot of you people and you don't understand why. And some of you people don't want to see your friends and family because of this reason. I don't blame you. You know, I don't know why I came back to this area myself. And I had everything in a different area. Not a big place like this, obviously. Smaller place at the time. And uh, I had this thing in my head. I want to go back to my family. They care about me. They want to know me. But no, they don't want to know me. They don't want to care about me. You probably felt the same way. Give it a chance. It may work. You may understand. But they don't understand. They don't want to know. When you're younger and little, they, they want to know you. They love you as much as they can. But when you grow older, they expect you to do things for yourself. Fair enough. Some people like support, but they don't seem to be getting the support they need. Unfortunately. And it, can, it could get a lot worse than you think. It really can. But like I say, I better go. Thank you for all joining me. And I'll do another video later. Take it easy, peace. Tell me what you think. Am I right or wrong? See you later, peace. Take it easy.